Hello everyone, this is Mr. Denko, um, also known as Loves the City 3 on YouTube, and today I have a cool video with my revolutionary new way to time long times in Minecraft. Um, so traditionally, people use repeaters because that's what it does. It, it creates a 4 tick or 0.4 second delay on things, well possibly. And the most recent innovation to creating long timers is to have loops of different delay amounts all running at the same time. And when they finally all coincide, it will activate the giant AND gate and toggle the, um, the uh, switch. And while this is a good idea and all, it requires a lot of math, a lot of thinking, it's unreliable. In general, it just, you know, it's pretty hard to set up. See, you saw a flash right there. Oh. My flash again, I don't know. What we have here is what I'm gonna call it's called a time multiplier, I guess. So right here it's a time ten multiplier where we have this piston loop set up. So that every pulse of the piston loop will advance that red block by one. Oh, did that wrong. Like that. And there's ten blocks in a um loop. So that means 10 pulses of this will equal 1 pulse of this, because once that red block gets over to here, it will put that and power up, and that can cascade. So what this means is that, for example, if you have a 1 second timer going right here, this thing will pulse every 10 seconds. There we go. Let's say this becomes a two second timer which right there now this thing will pulse every 20 seconds because 2 times 10 is 20 and the way this becomes super powerful is when you stack this alright so if I were to stack this one up which I've already made able to do stack one I'll reset this down to uh, 2, 3, delete that guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now this is back to being a 1 second timer. Let's wait for that red lock to come over. Alright. Alright, so what's happening here is that this is pulsing every 1 second. This multiplies that pulse by 10. So that means this is a 10 second pulse. I mean, it happens every 10 seconds. So that means 10 times 10 is now 100 seconds. So that means every 100 seconds, this guy will pulse, which we'll see happen rather soon. Uh, I'll wait for it to happen. Never mind, it's terribly slow. So that's how that works. And if I were to stack this one more time... Oh no! My stack team. Stack one U. Now, since this pulse, this multiplies by ten, that by ten, that by ten, that is one thousand seconds. Now, where this becomes super, super duper easy to become useful is that a Minecraft day is one thousand two hundred seconds. All right. So right here we're looking at one thousand seconds, or a bit less than twenty minutes. I do believe eighteen minutes. To make this a one day Minecraft timer, all you have to do is expand it by one lock right. One lock. Connect this guy up. And all you have to do is put glass blocks there. And now, what we have all hand dandy and everything is a one day Minecraft timer because there's a piston loop of 10, 10, and 12. 10 times 10 times 12 is 1,200, which is equal to 20 minutes, which is equal to one day. Now, to show you how truly powerful this can be, this is a timer where this piston will pulse every three centuries. Yes, you heard me correctly, because there are 10 of these multipliers, each one multiplied by 10, and so that would be 10 to the 10 seconds, assuming a 1 second input, 
and that equates to three centuries, or about 300 years. Which, I'm willing to bet that you won't need to time anything in Minecraft more than three centuries. If you wanted to time out, you know, maybe one Minecraft day using this, it would take a lot of math. This is always exact. Now I'm just showing you how to make this. What we start here is a 10 by 6. This is going to give you a basic 10 times multiplier loop. We're going to put a non-sticky piston there, and a. then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then put a non-sticky piston there, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then right there, the non-sticky piston, and right there. So it looks like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a lock press in there, uh, repeater on 4, and then, jeez, oh I forget what's going on. Okay. I remember. I'm going to put block with that's in there, or repeater with four there. I'm going to run one stone here, go all the way around, like that. Okie dokie. And then we're going to need to make this stackable, so put a redstone repeater on four, two ticks there. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm bad at these how to make things. Now we're going to need a sticky piston embedded in that with a repeater going into it. And then we're going to do redstone wire, dig out these blocks, then oh, put a torch there, glass there, redstone wire there, lock there, lock there, put redstone down there so that it will stack up. Then you can replace one of these with red block or any color that you choose yes that's how flexible it is um the reason for this is a pulse shortener so that oh jeez that was a bad example so that no matter how long or how short the pulse is it will always advance by one it's that's how it's designed to do and of course it's a stackable always like the market with the uh, glorious glowstone so Glowstone there, glowstone in that back corner. Grab that corner, grab that corner, and you can stack nine upwards. And boom, that will count out every three centuries, this little piece of redstone right there. Um, so let's undo that. And of course, I showed you earlier that to make a one day timer, you would stack it so that you have three levels, and then grab this little three wide section, make sure you expand it two upwards and then move it one right. And then you can just fill in that glass. And now that that will count out one day. Make sure you connect this redstone also. One last important tidbit information is how to reset it so that when you start the timer, it will then take exactly one Minecraft day to go through. To do this you replace all the blocks with glass. So, place this one with glass, and then you want to take the block that's right in front of that piston there, and put, you know, the uh, solid block that conducts redstone current right there, so that at the, oops, not going to do that, ah, stop. So that at the pulse of a thing, need redstone there, the cascade will happen all the way up. And then it will take exactly one Minecraft day for this redstone to activate, um, given that you have a one second timer. Also, in order to make a one second timer, um, you know, you could put a torch, I mean, a lever there. One second timer is you have a torch there, block obviously there. Then you need a redstone repeater stack at one tick, redstone like that, redstone repeater at three ticks going into that block. Um, so, you know, that's a five tick there. But since it goes on in five ticks and off in five ticks, that means that it's a one second timer. Um, so, um, just want to make sure that you 
do that and for increase information. It's not terribly hard to reset, um, but you know, it's probably a lot easier than of course that method or having a string of god knows how many repeaters going off into oblivion. Uh, so see ya.